What's up, Highway 83 Suzuki fans? Woo! You didn't think I had that in me, did you? Oh, Quick Draw McGraw is back at it again. <laughs> That's right, Highway 83 Suzuki followers. Today we are talking about ignition timing on your Suzuki Samurai. Now, if you have a Geo Tracker or a fuel injected Suzuki Samurai, this video will not pertain to you. We'll make a separate one for that. So don't get all twitchy on me and uh, get all gee. Just wait for the next video. But it'll be the same premise. So now on a Suzuki Samurai, you want your idle to be about 800 RPMs. Okay. So try and get that dialed in. And you would want your engine warmed up before doing this procedure. Um, the correct ignition timing. Now all this would be on your sticker here. Old Rambo ain't got no sticker. So there'll be a sticker under the hood on your regular Samurai telling you some of this information. If you don't got the sticker, you listen to me. That's right, Samurai guy, Tony. So uh, 10 degrees below top dead center is the correct ignition timing on a standard Suzuki Samurai 1.3 carbureted engine. Now, the tools you will need. You already know, get yourself a 12 ounce cold high life. Ah, yeah. And then there's only two other things you're gonna need. A 12 millimeter box wrench, um, socket wrench, whatever you got, that's 12 milli. And then you are gonna need the timing light itself. Now timing light, you can pick up at any auto parts store. No big deal. Uh, I actually see them at rummage sales for like five bucks. So all this is, is your timing light. You got positive, negative, go to your battery. And this little gizmo here, you clip on your uh, spark plug wire. And all there is is a button on the timing light, and it's a strobe light. It goes shooting out hundreds of times a minute a strobe light. Now, what we are going to be doing is going to be shooting the strobe light down onto your harmonic balancer crankshaft pulley down here. It's going to be probably pretty dark. You won't see that, um, but we will show it when we have the light on it. But there will be a notch on your pulley on the bottom. I have the notch marked with an orange marker so it's easier to see. There will be a section on the timing cover, uh, zero degrees through 20, I believe it is, zero in the increments in between. You want to line that up to 10 degrees. And how you're going to be doing that is you're going to loosen this bolt here on your distributor. You're going to loosen that just enough to be able to rotate the distributor. So you don't want to go crazy. I will uh, show that in a minute. So first thing you're going to want to do, we're going to do mo most of this without the car running so it's, it's a little bit quieter. So you're going to take your timing light, unravel all the crap that uh, you should have got ready before the video started, but you didn't. So you're going to take your, uh, your clamps. You're going to do black to negative, of course red to positive okay now here's where things get get interesting talk about twitchy some of you guys get get up my ass because uh remember the suzuki samurai engine with the distributor stabbing it in and lining up all the pulleys you time it on the number four spark plug wire right pointing at on the distributor number four back here now everyone's like oh well which which uh, where do i put this sucker on well, I always go on number one, and they're like, what? Come on, man. Number one, you just said number four. Well, I'll show you later. If you do it on number four, you're going to get the same readings. But number one is up front, and it's the easiest to do. So, you see this? All you do is clamp it on there. This is going to shoot through the wire and uh, determine. Just leave it on there like that. Make sure you're not burning your on uh, the exhaust manifold. And now we are going to be ready. Now we can start the car. And then what we are going to do, again, I'm talking because the engine's going to be running, so I'm trying to get a little more information going on now. So then what we're going to do is take our timing light, stick her on in here, push the button, and you are going to be able to see the crank pulley spinning super fast, and you're going to see the little triangle notch in it lining up. And then what you are going to do, you are going to loosen this bolt here. See this? Gonna loosen it, not too much, just enough to be able to rotate. You see this play in here? See how the, she's walking like this? So you're gonna, simultaneously, you're gonna have this in your hand, shooting down here, 
And if you need to make an adjustment, you'll be rotating it. And when you rotate this, the pulley mark is going to be rotating as well. So you will see that when we start the engine, um, you will see the rotation. So now we are going to dial it in. I'm gonna get the car started. We're gonna dial it in. Once you have it dialed in, you're gonna tighten that bolt back down and, and then that's, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna grab a swig of the old Highway 83 beer koozie. I'm gonna fire up Rambo and uh, we're gonna show you down, down below what this looks like. We'll be right back. All right, we got the engine idling roughly 800 RPM. We have our timing light hooked up. As you can see, there's a strobe effect here. So now I'm going to point it straight down at the crank pulley, and hopefully the camera will pick it up. We'll, we'll spend some time trying to dial in the zoom on the camera so you can see it. So right now, the orange mark I made on the harmonic balancer, there's a little triangle notch in there, is lined up with the 10 degree mark on the timing cover. And if, can you see it from there on the camera? So if I rotate the distributor, you can see the timing mark moving. And you can also hear the engine revving up or, or toning down. Idling down to where it wants to die or running higher. In the old days, a lot of guys would do this just by sound. But right there is our 10 degree mark, and that's exactly what you want. So now, we can back off, and now we'll, the only thing left to do is find our 12 millimeter wrench, and you're gonna lock down your distributor so she doesn't walk off on you. You're gonna crank that down, and now, we are going to take a break so I can shut the car off and I'll be right back. Okay, in the video, the camera did not want to pick up the strobe effect too much. So I rotated the engine with a ratchet just so you can see better that this is the timing cover. This is zero degrees, the orange mark is 10, and then further out there's a 20 degree mark. This is the notch on the crank pulley harmonic balancer and they are both lined up at 10. Now when it's spinning at 800 rpms and the strobe light is going you will see this flashing right here. Now if it's over here like I just rotated this is like five degrees uh, below top set dead center so then you would rotate your distributor like we showed you. You're going to rotate the distributor and this mark will swing back up or the other way depending which way you turn the distributor until your strobe effect is lined up with the 10 and then you are all right that's how you dial it in um it's hard to see what okay guys so it's just that simple to time your suzuki samurai carbureted engine and i repeat carbureted models only if you have a fuel injected engine we will do another segment on that where you will have to Stick your paper clip in the diagnostic port to freeze the computer so the computer does not make adjustments while you are trying to time the engine. That is really the only difference between the carbureted and the fuel injection models, Suzuki Samurai uh, and Geo Trackers. So, simple as that. Hopefully, um, you know what the hell you're doing now because I was hoping the camera would pick up that strobe light a little bit better, but uh, hopefully, we got the information across to you. And as always, check out our other videos down below and subscribe to the Highway 83 YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys watching and keep placing those orders on the Highway 83 Suzuki website, that online store, free shipping. Go check it out. Thank you guys. Ah, yeah.